All right, guys, what I want to do now is I want to talk about implant failures that don't come in a way that we would normally anticipate them. This is a combination multifactorial failure, just like I mentioned in some of the earlier videos. And this one comes from a couple of reasons. Now, the first one is this. Uh, this solution has zero anterior posterior spread. We have two implants in the lateral position, nothing in the centrals, and this patient wore this for five years before it failed. So you're saying, well, five years and then it failed, well, what happened? It must have been the patient's fault. Nope, it's 100% the doctor's fault and here's why. When we look at this solution this way, these two implants are in a line. The one, they're in a line with, alignment with each other, which means, if I hold it like this, and they close down and a mandibular tooth comes up and hits this point here. It wants to bend it. It wants to bend this solution like that. So every time a force hits here, it wants to rotate this solution like this and bend. So there's no anterior posterior spread because these are in a line. They're in a line with each other. And so when that happens, over time, you have what's called cyclic fatigue. Cyclic fatigue is, is very, uh, easy to explain. If you've ever had a coat hanger and you want to break the coat hanger in half, you just bend it back and forth really, really fast, it'll break right in half. It'll just cycle fatigue. That's what happened here. 